Hello everyone. I've had many understandings, thoughts come to my, my head today. I did do a video earlier. It was I had watched a video um, from Scriptures and Prophecies and as I hear and as I read, understanding is just given to me. And unless you've had this happen to you, 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 it's no way to explain how the scriptures unfold and understanding comes. You know, I, I, um, after I got out of the shower, because, you know, I watched the video and I took a shower and as always, when, when these moments happen, just you're bombarded with this with understanding is just poured poured on you and so many things just come to your mind and so I got out and I made a video and I might um you know I just I did it in the dark because I had my towel on my head and just jumped out of the shower um I might go ahead and post it I was just trying you know when the thoughts came I got out and I just was spilling out these thoughts that that come. Um, Cause the seeds can be planted, but n no one, only the spirit can give you the understanding, the understanding of the word of his word. And there are many wrong seeds being planted on YouTube. You know, and I and I want to clear up something right now. Um, if it doesn't come out of my mouth, that, that then you know, if it comes out of my mouth, then I stand by it. You know, there's times when I. Um, When I will comment on a video and totally agree with, you know, the view of what, you know, what was said on a video. And I don't want that, I don't want anyone to think that that means I am agreeing with everything that this person says in all videos. Because there's been times I've commented and then I'll have understanding come where you have a more full understanding of something. So it would have been better for me to have not commented at all. Because um, that's how it works. The, the truth is used against us. There's those who come to you with truth and saying much truth, but then they err in a great way. And no lie is of the truth, no error is of the truth. And there's some who do it just out of ignorance because they have not fully understood. But there's some there on YouTube who are doing it purposely. Those who are of God do not speak out of pride. They're not proud. They speak and they defend the word. And they always leave room for correction. And they won't speak a thing unless they understand that it is that it is the truth. <sighs> so hard for me to explain things. Um, that's why I know when it's time for me to to really give it, because it won't be me giving it. And it, you know, The 
children of the kingdom are those who have heard his word. And they, and when you are a child of God, when you hear the word, you will suffer for it. You will go through a great trial. Whoever hasn't gone through this trial, they're not the children of God. You will suffer. You will, for the word that you've heard. It is a great fight of affliction. And all those who have heard, they will come through it. Because it is his spirit and his will that you heard the word and that you received the word. And all who has put their trust in the word that they heard, that same word will bring them through. It is overcoming the world. It is overcoming the doctrine, the carnal word. And as for the Bible, everything is more kind of complicated, I guess, than... That's not the way to put it. Um, there's two voices there. It's the voice of the flesh and the voice of the spirit. The understanding of the flesh, which is confusion, and will take you in every way. And then there's the, the voice and understanding of the spirit. When you've heard it, and really heard it, and, and suffered for it, and when you've went through, it, when, it's, when the understanding finally comes, When you finally realize what you have to do is put off the things of the world, the understanding of the flesh. His word is there. The spirit is in the book. But the book is not God. The written letter is not God. It is the understanding that is given by the spirit. When <clears throat> you hear a whole the true gospel. I won't say another gospel. It is the true gospel. And only those who truly have the spirit can hear it. And I suggest when you do, I go to Bible Hub. That is the site that I read. Read it as it was written. as close to, in the Hebrew and the Greek. Hebrew is kind of harder to under, you know, figure out. But... It's harder to understand the lexicon in Hebrew than, but although, with the Spirit, you can even do that. But the Bible was interpreted, transcribed, and transliterated, carnally. There was presuppositions in the minds of these men who translated the Bible and then translated again and translated again. So go to the, the original word as close as you can and start chapter to chapter reading word to word. And, try, and many times you can go and try to put it together what they said. Like they'll have five words in this chapter when there's like 30 words that was actually in the original, the original Greek. One second, please. I just can't when it was so much that I want to say and it just is all in me and I don't 
you know, I'm going to, um, all I can do is come and reveal to you what has been revealed to me. The word that I know, the word that has been assured. You know, um, I know I seem confused, but I'm not confused at all. It's just I know what I'm up against. I know what God is up against. Those who have heard, they share the same testimony. There's only one testimony, and it is of the Spirit. And the same ones who did not hear what Jesus spoke, they will not hear what we speak. It's taken my whole life for me to finally understand. It was the word of man that fought against the spirit. That no longer happens with me. I say even, you know, the last weeks, watching YouTube, even just a few weeks ago, I was still getting confused myself. Because you hear one that will say much truth, and then I watch more videos, and then I realize, you know, they don't quite have it either. You know, and that's a very big thing to teach so much truth and then to add wrong, add things that are not of the truth into it. That is not what I want to do, and that is not what I will do. Because it's the only thing I desire in my life is to know truth that I can give it to not only my children, but to all who will hear. I have put off everything in my life. I've let it all fall apart. It is only by His grace that, you know, that I still have a home and my, our store and everything. I mean, it's, my life has turned upside down. And it really began two years ago, a little bit over two, when I had another store and got away from here and got away from my seven days a week, working 60 plus hours at my store and we had another store. and so I just had a little bit more time when I went. It was just a little store out in the country. And that's when the understanding first began. I just have to set things. There's things I need to set straight. And I just, when I'm saying things to myself, it's, it comes easily. Um, like, there's certain certain channels that preach a lot of truth. And then there's some things that I'm not sure. I will not judge a thing. I will not say a thing is not so unless it's been proven. And I've had the understanding given to me to prove that this thing is not so. It's as for um, Catherine's channel. But all things will be proven, whether they are so or not, whether they are of God or not. Um, I have not been, it has not been proven to me that her husband is not some, you know, spirit of, of Michael. That hasn't been proven to me. But I cannot back that either. I wait for understanding to come and disprove or prove it. But I know that she has spe speaks a lot of truth. And he has spoke a lot of truth. Now if I hear something that is not of truth, I will, you know, if it's something I know for certain, I will speak against it and, and tell what I, my understanding. 
It's just like another one. Um, Prophecy and Scriptures channel. She says a lot of truth. And understands a lot of things. And I agree with her on many things. I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm not fully backing anyone yet. I can't. I don't have the full understanding to do so. <clears throat> and if I differ in some things, like there's a certain thing I just watched on Prophecy and Scripture um, about blasphemy the Holy Ghost. Um, like my understanding more comes exactly what Catherine had said. There is no unforgivable sin. It's unforgivable because to to have salvation, you have to believe the Spirit. You have to know the Spirit. You have to have the Spirit. You know, it, that's what makes it unforgivable. You had. Without it, without it, you cannot have the salvation of the Spirit. It's not that you did something. It's that you did not believe. You must believe to have salvation. And I will explain that better. And um, Catherine says it pretty well in her video. But I think prophecy and scripture might have went, I don't know, I need to look at that again. But, um, some things are just beginning to be real easy to see that it is not of God. The Spirit of God, those who have it, come to you humbly. Because they know it's nothing that they've done themselves. And when they're mocking another and boastfully stating things against another, it's like an arrogance. And the Spirit of God definitely isn't arrogant and boastful and proud. And there's some who I've spoke to that I care deeply for, and I believe that they have really... That's just how it goes, that people cut themselves off. They think they understand something, and they won't let correction come in. And then they can't learn anymore. <clears throat> the biting and devouring of the other brethren. This thing should not be. And when I see it, it sickens me. I will defend the word. But I'm not going to defend... I don't know. It's like these are defending their faith, their belief. I don't know how to even say it. I just... I hope I've said something that makes sense. Um, when you have the Spirit, and those who know, those of you who do, you, you know what you've been through for the Word. And you don't give up because you're going to trust that he's going to bring you to understanding. And you're going to open your mind to let that understanding come in. So many get stuck up on this, you know, and, and they don't see any more. They're not seeing anything else but this one thing that they're stuck up on. Whether it's his name, you know, or... I just don't know. Um, I do know, but
let me just say this. The works of God is more awesome than most people out there know. His word is more awesome than most people out there know. And if you trust in him, trust in the word, trust in his goodness, it's not about what anyone on YouTube says. None of them is going to answer to God for anyone. You walk this walk yourself. We walk alone. We must learn these things one on one. The Spirit teaches the learner. And I will, when I come, I will be very against people who are just spitting things out of their mouth because I can't stand it because it's destroyed man in the world. One should not teach or speak anything unless they are sent, unless they have walked through the fire for the word, unless that word has been purified in them, whereby you overcome the flesh and the carnal mind. When this is done, it becomes your life. There is nothing above the works of God, the works of the Spirit. It is your every desire. And as you learn from Him, and as you learn the truth, you grow stronger. You're, it's, it's in knowing Him, your will, His will becomes your will. He's creating that in you. He's creating his son in you. You know, I, I hope, I'm going to send this video, and I hope I said something right in it, but, um, just know I hate lies. When they're, when they're spoken in ignorance, that can be overcome. When they're spoken deceitfully, that's the thing that I hate, as does God. And I know I'll be back soon. Those of you who truly desire God, desire to know God, You'll find it. Don't let man confuse you. Your mind, has, you have to believe and trust in him. A true heart that will turn to God. Knowing you don't have to know any. You, you go to him and you say, I don't know. Show me. Teach me. A true heart that will ask for God. That heart will be answered. But there's so much against you. That's why you have to trust. Your faith has to be in God, in the word of truth. I have much to say, and I know I didn't, don't seem to make much sense, but <clears throat> the field has to be ready for the planting, for the seed. or else the weeds will come up and choke it. My garden is weeded. It is being weeded. He renews me daily and teaches me daily, as he will all of his children who trust in him. I guess that's all I'll say for now. God bless you all.